the displacement of a spring vibrating in damped harmonic motion is given by y equals 9 times e to the power of negative 4t times sine of 2 pi t. We want to find all the times t greater than or equal to 0 when the spring is at its equilibrium position, which is y equals 0. We want the answer in terms of k, where k is any whole number. To find the times, we set y equal to 0 and solve the resulting equation, which gives us 0 equals 9 times e to the power of negative 4t times sine of 2 pi t. The right side of the equation equals 0 when 9 e to the power of negative 4t equals 0 or when sine 2 pi t equals 0. For the first equation, we should recognize e to any power is never going to be 0 and therefore there are no values of t where 9e to the power of negative 4t equals 0, which indicates we don't get any solutions for t from this part of the equation. Now we need to solve sine of 2 pi t equals 0. Well, we could take the inverse sine of both sides of the equation, but this will only give us one solution, and we're looking for all values of t expressed in terms of k, where k is any whole number. So let's solve this based upon our knowledge of the sine function and the input angles. Looking at the basic sine function below, notice the sine function value is zero at zero radians, pi radians, two pi radians, and so on, which means when the input angle for the sine function is the multiple of pi, the sine function value or output is equal to zero. Which means for our equation, because the input angle is two pi t, to find all the values of t where sine two pi t equals zero, we set two pi t equal to multiples of pi using k as any whole number. Which means we set two pi t equal to pi times k. Another way we could have found the angles for which the sine function value is zero is to use a unit circle, which also gives us zero radians, pi radians, and any angle that's coterminal to these two angles, which again will be any angle that is a multiple of pi radians. And now solving the equation for t, we divide both sides by 2 pi. Simplifying, we have t equals k divided by 2, or 1 half k. They didn't give us the units for time, but this indicates the spring is at its equilibrium position every 1 half k units of time. Let's go ahead and verify this by graphing the damped harmonic motion function. Notice we do have horizontal intercepts, or t-intercepts, at t equals zero, t equals one-half, or 0 0.5, t equals one, t equals 1.5, and so on, where the time t is equal to one-half k, where k is any whole number. I hope you found this helpful.